why the south pole of the moon is so important now it's i think it's going to go there and going to make some discoveries and uh, uh, the entire world is might be they are fascinated with the south pole of moon so what is the reason behind behind it let's so say one a uh, major reason that brings back to your original first question about uh, chandrayaan 3 zender was to find uh, water on moon so south pole the, the polar region especially the south pole yeah, based on earlier missions you know flybys and orbiter missions uh, that have been sent to moon uh, remote sensing has uh, and imaging has told us that you know there are a lot of these permanently uh, dark Uh, craters in the south pole region of the moon which have the highest potential of holding water if there is any water on moon i mean i mean whatever in measurable uh, uh, quantities if one has to look at presence of water so these kind of craters are seen to be a great source to uh, study which is why the interest in uh, the south pole while most uh, not most almost all other uh, you know lunar missions have been in the equatorial region of the moon this will be the first the russians uh, could have landed i think as we speak uh, today uh, by they should have landed but uh, unfortunately their mission was a failure uh, so india will still be the first to land on the solar uh, i mean polar region of the moon so the primary interest is for that uh, although india won't be going exactly to the south pole it will be about uh, roughly 70 degrees off Uh, south pole but it's a close enough distance it's it's an ideal distance where you get enough sunlight to power your instruments and at the same time you are closer to the polar region to understand uh, what kind of studies can be done there it's a difficult thing to say what somebody might find but the uh, instruments that have been packed on uh, you know the propulsion module the lander and the rover will give us a fair indication on what india is set out to find Uh, for instance uh, the propulsion module will not be studying the moon per se it has uh, it has an instrument that will be uh, studying earth from the lunar orbit it is uh, trying to understand uh, what life like situations that earth might have so that that can be in the future juxtaposed with uh, you know uh, studies of exoplanets which are now widely believed uh, can be uh, you know sources of life a lot of studies are going on on that so the propulsion module payload or the scientific instrument on the propulsion module will uh, try to study that on the lander and the rover you have about six instruments which will study a variety of things mm-hmm. uh, one uh, on the rover you have two instruments that will understand the elements on the lunar surface one by you know uh, using uh, and the lander for instance has four things that is packed which will study the kind of temperature that the lunar surface observes what happens then how how that whole thing works and there's also an instrument from nasa which would be uh, helping uh, exactly determine the distance between the moon and earth and right. also uh, various uh, elements it so will also try to reconfirm the presence of uh, water which you know chandrayaan 1 is credited to have uh, found water molecules or ice sheet on the lunar surface and uh, that kind of changed the way uh, humans understand lunar geology and this mission certainly will uh, take that forward also from breaking news detailed analysis in depth interviews and explainers follow the times of india subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest